people want many things in life. Most want material things, some to amass wealth, and others to be famous. But I do not want any of such things. My wants are intangible. My wishes are minute. I just want to be able to breathe without experiencing pain as normal people do. And I as much wish to see my parents smile again. Funny how being denied the simple pleasures of life makes us appreciative of them. I am Ife Dio Johnson. I was diagnosed with leukemia some months after my 18th birthday. It was as if the cancer thought that since I'm now a young adult, I can handle it. Newsflash, I cannot. Not sure anyone truly can. Prior to this time, I was a normal girl with a normal happy life. I was young, beautiful, carefree, and I had friends. We talked about lame things. These times feel like a lifetime ago. Now normal is a dream quite close, so out of reach. I read somewhere that cancer is an entity struggling to survive. In effect, you can't blame the cancer. It is also part of the body struggling to live. This gives me the idea that perhaps Rather than researchers battling on how to find or kill cancer cells, they can produce drugs or treatments on how people can cohabit with it so that both entities can thrive and live harmoniously. I come from a very religious family, so when I started falling sick and losing weight, it was the work of the church to heal me. My mother, who is a pastor of our church, believed. My dad, however, is very pragmatic. He had at some point decided to pass my mother and took me to see our doctor. Upon discovering what my dad had done, my mom surprisingly didn't fight it. It had become clearer that something else was wrong. Many times I felt cheated by the same God my mom was praying to. Many times I turned away the affection and concerns of my good friends who tried to keep in touch. I will not be the brunt of their pity. Aki, my younger brother had come to get me for breakfast, only to meet me motionless and soaked in my own urine. My dad came in too, and he was already crying. My heart was further broken. That day was the beginning of my days on the wheelchair. The next week will be consultation with a group of specialists to determine if there was any improvement, after which we would know the next course of treatment. I was dreading this appointment, but my mom was positive. She had prayed morning and night on the days leading to it and had succeeded in lighting my hope while I hide behind her faith. Yeah, the doctor's findings didn't go our way. chemotherapy wasn't working. 
The only solution was a bone marrow transplant, which was going to cost a fortune, and I would need to be moved abroad for it. As I walked away from my mother, all I wished for was for some grace. But in the last moment, my body betrayed me. I cried and cried while my mother in her own tears consoled me. She told me I would be fine. She told me I was strong. And she said that repeatedly. I wasn't feeling any better. And I was deteriorating fast. I started to feel like going for the transplant would be an absolute waste of resources. That night, when I was alone, I brought out my stash of pain pills that were supposed to take me out of my miseries. But I couldn't take them. I couldn't do that to my parents. Stop, 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 stop. What do you mean in case you don't have a chance? No, no, don't talk like that, baby. Come on, come on. Don't talk like that. I love you guys. We love you too. Yeah, we love you. Oh, yes, we love you. Ife? Ife? At this point, I had just one wish left. For God to do me the honor of taking my life. Since the love and support, I've seen my parents show me over time and rob me of the choice to end my own life. At least he would have saved them from the debts they were already incurring for the transplant. This was one more wish laid at the feet of God for consideration. As I drifted off to sleep, I wish that my parents' love knows joy again. <laughs>